Just making a quick video to show you how to install Cacti version 1.1.83 onto a Raspberry Pi uh, 3B in this case. Um, I'll have all the commands in this video on a blog post um, and I'll link it below the video if you're on YouTube. Um, so yeah, Cacti version 1.1.38 is not the normal version of Cacti that comes if you just do a sudo apt-get install Cacti. I think it's 0.8.8 at the moment. Um, so this is installing uh, a newer version from somewhere else or a different uh, repository or repo um, of where we're going. So uh, I'm running Raspbian uh, Stretch Lite on this um, Raspberry Pi uh, that I've got. I've already SSH'd into this uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, well, it's got a static IP. You can see that in a previous video. Uh, this particular version is the one that was released on June 27th, 2018. Um, so they may have fixed some of these things in the future release, and they may not have. I don't don't know if they will or not. Anyway, let, let's get going. So there's actually um, three distinct components that we actually need to uh, do to install Cacti. Well, first thing is we need to install some uh, well, a missing package uh, that handles keys. Uh, then we need to, or certificates and keys, and then we need to um, add some key servers, and then we need to add the repository before installing it. It's almost four steps, I guess. Depends how you count. So first of all, let's install this mixing component. So sudo at, uh, at get install, and it's dirmngr. And this is a sort of software package that's used for downloading and maintaining certificates and revoking certificates and stuff like that. So you need this uh, to be able to install some certificate servers. Great, so now that's installed, we can add uh, some key servers uh, and then some keys and certificates, etc., to our Raspberry Pi. So let's have a look at what we've got installed so far. So sudo apt key list. This should give us a list of certificates or keys that are already uh, on our machine. So now we need to add our, our key servers. Uh, so I'm going to add Ubuntu's key servers. Uh, it's a domain distribution. Ubuntu is a, another domain distribution or another distribution based on domain. So it doesn't really matter. So let's just add these. Uh, I'm probably going to copy these wrong, but you can just copy and paste them. So that is actually the only key that key or the only key server that we need to um, pull keys from, uh, because our backports is actually going to be in the main stretch, so we shouldn't need the others. So that's uh, all good. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add the um, the repo to our machine. So we need to sudo nano or other text editor of choice, whatever you want, and then uh, sources. Sources.list, uh, and then in this file we need to add a line which is dev http forward slash ftp dot debian and we want to add the stretch backport, uh, and I'm going to go for main. Uh, you could have contrib and non-free. Or whatever you want, so that's good. Let's write that to the file, uh, which is Control uh, O, and Control X to close, and then we need to do a sudo apt get update, and we should now see the new repo uh, being queried. So yeah, there we go. ftp.debian.org. So we've now got an error, uh, and this is because we haven't installed the right key server. So maybe we do need one of the other key servers. So uh, this no public key here, this uh, 5503, this ending one here, we can add that key server. Um, so sudo apt key key server, uh, and we want to do key 
keyserver.epo2.com icv-keys and then we want to put in this this uh, public key into here so eight b four eight a d they all need to be capitals as well four b four eight That would help if I could spell or type. Would also help if I could remember the commands. Great. So we should now have an updated list of packages that we can install. Uh, and now we just need to install it. So sudo apps get install. Uh, but now we need to specify which re which repo we want to go to. So stretch uh, backports, uh, and then we just say we want to install Cacti. Uh, yes, we wish to continue, uh, and this probably will take quite some time to install. So it will ask us which uh, web server we want to. Uh, use. Uh, we're going to use Apache 2. So we're also going to need to tell it um, which database to use. Uh, we're just going to tell it to carry on with whatever it's doing and give it a password. Groovy. So I left that overnight uh, because it got kind of stuck on populating database via SQL, but it seems to have finished itself and then um, disconnected overnight. So if we now go to get rid of this, if we now go to Cacti, we should see that it's there. So we can log in using admin and the password we set up and we can now see that uh, Cacti version 1.1.38 has been installed on uh, this Raspberry Pi. So um, after this point, yeah, you've just got to configure it and away you go. Thanks for watching.